To get the best Madden team, go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy players, coins, and training directly to your account. And code MMG is 10% off. Double or nothing! Boys, we only have two episodes left, and this is one of them. The next episode is the finale. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is Double or Nothing. Seven episodes ago, or six episodes ago, however you want to do the math. We had 50,000 coins to spend to build the best Madden team we could. And if we were able to win with that team, we advanced to an 100k team. We could win with that, we had 200k, 400k, 800k, 1.6 mil, and finally, 3.2 million coins. It's that beautiful number in the top right. People keep asking, they say, Papa Meeks, how do you get it right on the money? Like, how are you getting it to exactly 3.2 mil? I don't know if I've ever told you guys, it's like a little personal thing, I guess, but my dad actually works for EA. So if you guys like want the same thing, if you want me just to load your account with a ton of coins, just give me uh, your login email, your login password, 16 digits on the front of your mommy's credit card and the three fun special digits on the back of her credit card. If you want to make it easy for me and my dad, of course, who works at EA, yeah. just take a picture of all the cards in your mommy's wallet, okay? Just take the picture of the front, the picture of the back, send it over, and the next time you log in, you're gonna have like millions of coins all on your account. <laughs> 3.2 million coins. No, I actually like legitimately do the math and sell players for exact amounts. Like I had to put, sell a player for 38,888 to get to that. And as you can probably see on your screen here, it was no mystery who I was carrying over. In Double or Nothing, if I get a rage quit, I can carry one player over onto my next team. And that of course was the God tier Derrick Henry. We already know that the most feared Derrick Henry is literally still good. And so this 97 is just a menace to society. 96 speed, 95 excel, 97 truck, 97 break tackle. I've got recuperation, bruiser, and tank on him. It's 6 AP, but he's a stud. We built a 92 overall team last time. My goal is to build around a 95 this time. This is double or nothing. We're going to build the best squad we can with 3.2 million. We've got an NFC championship. Now, what I think is going to be a crucial part of this episode is Derrick Henry. 3.2 mil divided by the 24 positions I need to fill is about 120, 130k per position. I can really go big, big on offensive lineman if I want to. 95 overall Eric Fisher. 100k. 93 Damian Lewis. 88k. Dude, I want to spend big on offensive linemen. I think Derrick Henry is just a pinnacle part of this offense. We get to carry him over for free. 63k. 93 overall Rodney Hudson. Wyatt Teller. I've had this Wyatt Teller on uh, Wheel Him Up before and he's played great. So that's perfect. I'll probably end up going with a few offensive line abilities. I would not be surprised if I did. Riley Reed. Super Riley Reed. You know, he's probably not that much better than Nate Sol and he's like 40k more, but how do you pass up on Riley Reed? I've seen so much of her. Or, um, I've watched a lot of, um, uh oh. It's about 450k down the drain for my own line, so about 90k a pop, but it's really good, and I know Derrick Henry needs that, so I'm happy. I'm actually gonna do quarterback right now. While I have the budget and I can get anybody that I want, let's do quarterback. I kinda wanna do Trey Lance. I almost did it last episode, but this time I'm going balls deep, and I'm actually gonna do it. 200k for Scrambler Trey Lance. I think the combo of running the ball with Derrick Henry and escape artist on Trey Lance is going to be unstoppable. Dude, this Hawkinson looks so good. It looks so good. 90 seven overall TJ Hawkins. He looks incredible. Let me look at the 95 tight ends just in case I can save a little bit. I think defense is going to be crucial to spend a lot more money on. I would like to spend more on defense and offense. How good is this Dawson Knox? 94 overall Dawson Knox. He's got 92 speed. 83 run block is okay. He's vertical threat. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Dawson Knox. I, I don't like combine cards. I hate the art. It actually pisses me off, but that's a great tight end for that price. He's going to get tight end apprentice, matchup nightmare, all the stuff I need. Amon St. Brown. Do you guys remember like episode one or two? And he is 95 speed. A while ago, the Amara St. Brown is in episode one or two. It was just his power up. It was trash, but he played so well. That was dirt cheap. Oh my God, we got him for dirt cheap. I just like to have a big wide receiver for blocking. How did I not know this existed? 62207 Michael Irvin? Honestly, I'm doing it because that's so cool. Big physical wide receiver. That's what I wanted. And it's locked up. All right, so halfback good. We need a fullback. Jacob Johnson. We're going to get a 94 overall blocking fullback for Derrick Henry. That is a beefy, strong, fast backfield. Trey Lance, Derrick Henry. 
trade Jacob Johnson. Offense looks good. We don't have a backup tight end or a third string wide receiver, but I'm going to go work on defense now while we have a lot of money to spend on it. Left and right end. I actually want to go big here. I want some speed demons. If I recall this Daniil Hunter, I think I had him for like two episodes in Wheel of Money. He was so good. 6'5", 252. For 89,500, that is a spectacular left end. We need a right end. 205, 600 for Miles Garrett. Yeah, he's going to be insanely good. Oh, uh, he's strong and big. He's not that fast. I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to go 96 overall Miles Garrett. D tackles. I always go kind of cheap on D tackles, huh? I don't think I'll switch that up right now. 82K for Fletcher Cox. Damn, that is a really good price. Fletcher Cox is good, though. Block shed power moves are off the charts. And 77 speed's fine. I don't need a fast D tackle. Oh my God, you're faster than hell. And you have 94 block shed, 95 power moves. Oh my God. Well, that's an easy decision. Sorry, Anthony McFarland. I don't really know that guy all too well. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but stud. On to middle linebacker. This freak show, Ted Hendricks. 6'7", 220, 93 speed, 95 excel, 88 change of direction. That is a monster user. Prime time is so good. No matter how you swing it, this harvest prime time is still so incredible. Christian Fulton, 6'197", 95, 95. Yes, sir. I kind of want a big corner. Imagine I lose because I get mossed, bro. I think this Sherman might be kind of exactly what I want. He's like at least 6'2", right? Yeah, 6'3", a little bit slower, but that's a big body. Let's move to middle linebacker. I think this is a really good position to go big on. Fred Warner, 91 speed, 93 excel. He's a big body, and I really like Fred Warner cards. This is an awesome user. Let's get it. Oh, I do need to keep in mind, though, that Ted Hendricks is gonna fill in. Fred Warner will still be on the field, obviously, but Ted Hendricks will likely actually be my user unless I run a different set other than nickel 335Y. Left outside linebacker and right outside linebacker, I kind of want my dudes who can move, similar to that Khalil that I had last time. That Khalil Mack was really good. 91 speed, 93 excel. Oh my God, he's a beast. Yeah, we're definitely going Bud Dupree here. Now we need right outside linebacker and we've still got a mill. We're technically finishing up right now. We still got a mill, which is amazing. He actually has 85 speed. I'm going Terrell Suggs, dude. We got some serious throwback players on this team. Players that I used to use 24 seven in Madden Mobile. So crazy how double or nothing works. Like I'm about to buy a 92 overall middle linebacker who won't even get reps. Christian Kirksey had an incredible game. I think it was episode four. He was like player of the game. He was so good. You're the grapevine. I know that this Ronnie Lott is stupid, stupid good. 259,000 coins is a lot, but he's 95 speed, 94 excel. He hits like a Briggs truck. Oh. He's six foot 203, which is good size. I he's a little bigger. I think he's going to be a demon. So we're going with it. Ronnie Lott. Also, a dude I used to use in Mad Mobile 24 seven. That leaves us with another corner, a wide receiver and a backup tight end. I think I'm going to get a big, a big body, super good corner. Patrick Sertan might be it too. 6'2", 202. That's pretty damn good, bro. Daniel Carlson was so clutch this year. So I am going to go with him. It's been a tough year for Raiders fans. So Raiders fans, I want to give you something to look forward to. I will be using your kicker. You're welcome. You're forever indebted to me. You owe me one sex with your mother. I'm going to go Leonard Davis. He is not a catching tight end. He's not a possession tight end. My second string tight end always comes in when I'm in deep run blocking sets. He has 96 run block as a 95 overall tight end. Kind of expensive, but that's why we hung on to our coins so that we can make a decision like that. Beautiful purchase. I really am hoping I didn't forget a position. Let's go cheap on our third string wide receiver. I'm going to go CD Lamb in honor of me hoeing all of you with the joke last time. Oh my God. And he is faster than hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 96, 100 for CD Lamb. We have 96,000 coins left over. I'm gonna throw the best team overall in. We're just gonna look at this team and see if we can fill in anything that we haven't yet. The moment of truth, the team is a 94 overall. I was so close to getting the 95. Right guard, left guard is holding us back. And looking back, seeing 96K, I guess I could have gotten a 95 left guard, 95 right guard, but I think we did a really good job managing these coins, honestly. Dawson Knox is our starter with actually a higher overall. Leonard Davis is the backup just to block. Michael Irvin, never seen it. A modern St. Brown. Return from the grave with a lot of upgrades. A 94 overall CD Lamb. Derek Henry. Oh, I don't have a backup halfback. I'm really glad we hung on to 96K. Trey Lance is all set. Jacob Johnson looks good. Defense is incredible. Terrell Suggs, Fred Warner, Kirksey, Bud Dupree, Ted Hendricks, Ronnie Lott, Sertan, Sherman, Christian Fulton, Daniil Hunter, McFarland, Fletcher Cox, and Miles Garrett. Now, I know I said I would use Ted Hendricks as my user, but I take it back. I'm going to use Fred Warner. I don't want to get cheeky right now. Like, Ted Hendricks at user.
Mr. Middle Linebacker was good when I was using Wheel of Mutt like two, three months ago. I think I'm getting too cheeky. Let's not get weird with it. Let's just do what we know works. I'm gonna grab a backup halfback and I think that's all I need right now. Here's someone I'd never get to use, Aaron Jones. I love it. Aaron Jones for 46K. And just in case I'm, I'm rightfully having a panic attack about my extra corner safety, let's grab somebody. I hate to have him back to back. I don't actually think he's gonna get reps, so don't worry. But Jalen Ramsey is so good for his size and price, so I have to do it again. Now, a pinnacle decision-making piece in this is gonna be abilities and how we distribute them. We have six AP on Derrick Henry already, which is a lot. I kinda need something on Dawson Knox because Trey Lance, I want a skate artist. He's definitely not getting Hot Route Master. I mean, he's a scrambling quarterback. I don't even think it's possible for scramblers to get it. Like, I don't even think it's an option. Escape artist is a nine on a scrambler? So you just can't fucking have it, is what you're saying. Wow. Well, this is now, this has gone from a very easy decision to a difficult decision. I'm gonna go quick draw recuperation. We're still gonna run a lot with him, I expect. So I'll still like that. And quick draw is just to avoid sacks. Truz, if we can activate it, would be insane. Okay, so only two AP needed for Trey Lance since escape artist is crazy expensive. As far as Dawson Knox goes, I really want tight end apprentice so that I can put corner routes on him since Trey Lance can't do that without hot route master. And an apprentice, we get the additional hot routes. Beautiful. And matchup nightmare is always really, really good. That's four AP on Dawson Knox though. That leaves us with two actually, which is exactly how much we need for identifier. We'll just throw it on Rodney Hudson. He'll obviously be in every single play. So we do have identifier. I love to see my opponent's user. Daniel Carlson, we cannot forget focus kicker. You know, I gotta say it's kind of a miracle that I remembered to put focus kicker on in two games in a row. With 18 AP, we gotta make Fred Warner really good user. So Lurker is gonna be key. And if we wanna put anything else on him, just be an added bonus. Well, maybe for the, I could actually get film study on him, but I doubt I'll actually wanna use that. I've never used it. I don't think now is the time to experiment. I'm gonna do shutdown for now. Ted Hendricks. You probably get, yeah, two AP for Acrobat. Acrobat Enforcer. Go shut down as well. No doubt we are juicing this man. Thinking Enforcers is a lock. Gotta go Enforcer. I don't know about Acrobat though. I'm going Enforcer Crusher. Heavy ball carry fatigue on hit stick tackles. Shut down as well. I think he'll be able to play the ball just perfectly fine without Acrobat. I think Sertan just needs Acrobat. We're good with just that. Let's go Miles Garrett edge threat. I have enough to go Fred Warner with film study. I could do that or I could just juice ever. I'm gonna juice everybody. I don't need film study. I've never needed it in my life. I don't need it now. I think we go unstoppable force, edge threat elite. That puts us at 14. It's all about the turnovers, boys. We gotta go Acrobat. Oh no, Sherm doesn't get Acrobat. Unless I just blew past it on Sherman and I'm stupid. All right, I'm so glad I caught that. I would've got shit on in these comments. Boys, double or nothing, episode seven. One of the most crucial games right here so that I can give you a Super Bowl with 6.4 million coins. Ty Law, Rob Gronk, and Cooper Cup. This is going to be a good game. His team is no joke at all. He's got that new combine Cam Newton. Gotta play a perfect game, ladies and gentlemen. He checks it down to Patterson. Excellent tackle by Bud Dupree. I have no ego. I will let the computer make some tackles in a big ass game like this. He fakes the RPO, and that's why we spend big fucking money on Ronnie Lutz. Jumps that shit, breaks the tackle, and we start out the NFC chip seven to zero. Oh my God. <laughs> I was so hesitant to drop a big 260K on Ronnie Lott, and he proves instantly on the second play of the game why he's built like that. Oh shit, I ran commit. No, 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 no. Thank God, wait a second, am I gonna get it? I just got bailed out so hard, it's not even funny. I actually just ran commit and his own player rubbed on him and threw that all haywire. Ronnie Lott's already got his X Factor going. I'm actually gonna use a Ronnie Lott here. He goes play action. Dude, he just wants a one play touchdown. He's so greedy. Look at this, look at the green Hendricks! What did I tell you about this stud? Don't tell me I'm gonna get a rage quit against a 99 overall team. Don't tell me you're gonna quit. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare, bro. You. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually, I'm not even happy, I'm pissed. What the, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? I can't get through a game of double or nothing because we clap cheeks so hard that everybody quits. I can't just play another game and be the Super Bowl. Here's what we're gonna do. Super plays is the house rules right now. You start on first and 25, a touchdown's worth 10 points, an interception's worth five, the first player to score 15 wins. So basically, you need a touchdown and an INT or two touchdowns. That's the only way you win. For every consecutive game that I win starting right now, we're gonna carry another player over. Right now, we can carry one player over. So if I win five straight, we're carrying six players over. Five for the games, one for the rage quit. 
The 97 overall Mike Vick. I couldn't even afford that on today's episode. He's like 500K. I couldn't spend that much. And I guess I could have if I really wanted to, but Ted Hendricks? No, you didn't just fucking moss me, bro. Dude, everybody's just poverty. Wait a second, I'm gonna win right here. That's a player, because I get five for the INT. It's like it's scripted. It feels scripted for me right now. It feels scripted that I'd go to the Super Bowl. No money spent. He's got Jalen Hurts. You got to respect him, man. Tank Najee Harris. I like your team, sir. I don't like your play call because you just got flooded, but I like your team. I love such a big purchase. We definitely made a good call there, and that's Terrell Suggs. This is not open. Don't throw it. This is not open. Don't throw it. Dude, it's like you have to baby step these dudes. I, I said it out loud five times. This may be the only time in your guys' lives that you will see me upset with how much better I am than everyone I'm playing. All we gotta do is score a touchdown and we ice this up and you know I wanna get him on with St. Brown cooking. Dawson Knox, can I make that throw? Uh-oh, uh-oh, I might get picked. The good thing is if I turn it over, he still can't win. As long as I don't throw an INT. Uh-oh. You suck. Remember what I said, guys? Remember what I said? He said, as long as I don't throw an INT, first to 25, hopefully we can get back on Jalen Hurts. Fakes the handoff. Nothing's open. I'm setting just Terrell Suggs. Oh, left side's gonna be open. Go get him. Don't throw that! I didn't pick that. <laughs> we got big bodies. We're fine. I am all over this! Oh, I thought he was gonna catch it. I was gonna cry. Great turnover. Derrick Henry, wide open in the middle, what a ball from Trey Lance, oh my god. QB spies Montez Sweat. Ooh, I tried to throw that, but I didn't get it off. I think I can hit Dawson Knox, though. Yes, sir. <laughs> Tight window, but that's a dub. Ooh, he's got Stafford. It's an LA theme team, baby. I respect it. Good throw underneath. Ted Hendricks does not miss tackles, though. That's my boy. No, he's wide open. Why is he so open? I'm so mad. Mine. Who? <laughs> Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman is just cock teasing me. I'm all over everything over here. Let's go. Take it to the house, Fulton. To the house. To the house. That's four, baby. Wait. No, you're not going to get caught. That's four. Christian. Fulton. First and 25. Let's get everybody involved. Let's start with Derrick Henry. Getting around the edge. <laughs> Uh-oh, I see a blitz. I'm in trouble. What is this defense? I've never seen this. I'm going Dawson Knox, big body. Oh, and, and I went from no competition to full competition. Play action, got left side. Uh-oh, uh-oh, post burner. I'm, I'm done for. <laughs> I didn't get the tackle. I really went from no competition to full competition. Let's hope we don't Super Bowl against this guy. Yeah. He's not just gonna beat me, he's gonna beat me by 26. Pretty impressive in this game mode. All right, boys, that concludes this insane episode of Double or Nothing. We're gonna carry four players from this team over onto the next team. Derrick Henry, maybe. Ronnie Lott, maybe. Terrell Suggs played really well. He almost earned a spot. Fred Warner, lots of decisions to be made. But I love you, boys. You'll only know if you come watch the finale of Double or Nothing. Stay tuned. Right after that, you'll be getting the season opener to the final season. Wheel of Mutt for Madden 22. Lots to see. I love you, boys. Thanks for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.